What's up, Super Players? It's your homie C-Rod, and in today's video, I'm going to give you the 10 booster boxes that you should own in order to make some serious money and be very successful when it comes to collecting these boxes. Alright guys, so if you guys are unaware, Dragon Ball Super Card Game has a wide variety of different boxes, and if you haven't been in the loop, some of these boxes, like this Universal Onslaught, cost roughly 2k, and the price continues to go higher. So I'm going to give you some tips on the boxes, which ones you should get, and any of the new ones coming out, and which ones you should keep an eye out for. Alright, so let's just start off with number 10 on the list, and number 10 on the list is going to be roughly any new box coming out. So the newest box right now at the moment is this Battle Web Evolutions booster box which right now is going for around 80 to 90 bucks and the price continues to go higher as time passes so my number one advice is get any of the newest boxes to make sure and guarantee you are at least one box in just in case that box takes off to the moon in the future. So now that you know number 10 is just keep any of the newest booster box that has came out sealed and in your closet, I'm gonna give you number nine. And number nine is pretty much the Union Force booster box, which right now is going for $305. I speculate this box is gonna be one of the boxes that goes up in price for sure in the future because it's one of the boxes that came out in the beginning of Dragon Ball Super Card Game. This is not financial advice. Do not buy or sell anything just based on what I say. This is just a video for fun. And on top of that, I'm just a Dragon Ball Super Card Game fan that has been in the game since before the game even came out. Now we are talking about number eight. Number eight is actually a draft box and it happens to be draft box number four, Dragon Brawl. Right now the price of this box is $340 and this box comes with some of the best cards that are used competitively in Dragon Ball Super Card Game like the Ape and Master Ultra Instinct Goku. This is a box you definitely do not want to miss out on. Alright guys, number seven is a pretty insane box because it is Vermilion Bloodline. So this Vermilion Bloodline booster packs and booster box are roughly one of the most expensive ones and it's pretty insane because the box just came out a couple months ago. This box is so outrageously priced at 450 bucks because it has some of the most meta decks and the most meta cards that you can utilize in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. This box is going to be for fact a box that you're going to want to have in your collection. Now we're going to be talking about the number 6 booster box. And the number 6 booster box is actually the Clash of Fate. And this box is at $600 at the moment, which honestly caught me by surprise. I had people begging me to buy it off of them when they were trying to get me to buy it for 20 bucks a booster box and now it's $600. That just goes to show you definitely got to get the newest booster box and just keep it sealed because these boxes are hitting ridiculous prices. Alright guys, if you're enjoying this video, feel free to smash that like and be subscribed because we are in this game together and we gotta grow the community. So if we all unite and we share this video, not only will you make money, your friends will make money and everybody's gonna be enjoying Dragon Ball Super Card Game. So feel free to hit that subscribe and let's get on to number 5. Alright, so this is number 5. And it's number five in the list because it's the first booster box ever. You Dragon Ball Super Card Game veterans already know what booster box I'm talking about. It happens to be Galactic Battle, the first booster box ever. And this box at the moment is $800. This is the first box that ever came out for Dragon Ball Super Card Game. So you definitely want to own one of these if you're trying to collect Dragon Ball Super Card Game cards. If you want to buy any of these booster boxes, feel free to hit the link in the description where you could buy these Dragon Ball Super Card Game cards before they go to outer space. Alright guys, so now we are at number 4, and number 4 happens to be Destroyer's King's Booster Box. This booster box at the moment costs $1,199. Now we're talking the 1K area. Now this is some big boy money, and I don't know, 
This is not financial advice, but I speculate this box to definitely continue to go up in price because it has one of the coolest secret rares, which happens to be the Super Saiyan 3 Agent of Destruction Broly. So you definitely want to keep an eye out for the Destroyer's Kings. And just to let you guys know, we are not about the money. We are just showcasing what we have seen happen to these boxes in time. And we want to advise you, if you're brand new to Dragon Ball Super Card Game and you don't realize that maybe this new box you just bought, the Battle Evolutions or whatever is the newest box at the moment, uh, is in your closet and you wake up the next day, that box could be over a thousand dollars in a couple months or a year or whenever. So I'm, we just want to help you guys out. Unfortunately, we didn't know this was going to happen. So we opened up a bunch of boxes and luckily I managed to keep some of them sealed and uh, I've made some pretty good profits. So hopefully you guys could get some knowledge from this video as well. So make sure to smash that like. Now we're going to be talking about the Super Saiyan 3 high status. Oh my God, why does it cost this much? I'm going to need my scouter level to tell you about Assault of the Saiyans. Now this booster box at the moment is $1,530. Oh, it's definitely over the 1k mark now it's up to you if you want to purchase these right but this is going to be a box that's going to go beyond outer space it's going to go all the way to the planet Beerus because of the fact that it has the signed cards signed cards by the actual voice actors like the Vegito which has Goku and Vegeta in it that is what is making this box go all the way to outer space past spacex all the way to like another dimension so you definitely want to keep an eye out for assault of the saiyans all right so now that we're talking about the booster boxes that cost some serious money we're going to be talking about number two which happens to be this box that i oh it's not that one this box right here that i actually own which is universal onslaught hold up guys I gotta tell you how much this box costs right now. I only paid around $80 for it. Now that box costs 2,485 bucks. Oh my goodness, I gotta do my money dance. No, but for real, on a serious note, this box right here, Universal Onslaught, comes with the secret rare Apex of Power, which happens to have Goku and Vegeta in it, and that secret rare is a Victory Strike card, meaning when it deals one damage to your opponent, you automatically win, and not only that, a bunch of collectors, like the Pokemon King Collector that's actually getting into Dragon Ball Super Card Game, is looking at that card with high value, raising the price of this box, and and also putting Dragon Ball Super Card Game on the map for collecting. Alright, so I'm going to give you the number one box that's going to be the Holy Grail of Dragon Ball Super Card Game. I'm talking about this is going to be the box that forever and forever will be the highest price box unless Bandai comes out with an insane box in the future. But for now, this box right here, which is based on the Tournament of Power, which is when Goku turned Mastered Ultra Instinct for the first time and everybody was hyped on the saga of the Tournament of Power. Now, this booster box right here is going for $8,500, guys. I kid you not. A couple months ago, I saw it for around 2000 and then 5000 now 8000 Holy cow, it's about to reach the 10k mark, and considering the fact that Dragon Ball Super Card Game is a relatively new card game, it's only been around for a couple years, the fact that this box is almost reaching the 10k mark says a lot for the card game. Of course, the reason the Tournament of Power booster box costs so much is because it has Victory Strike, the Awakened Power card. This card is the card that most collectors want in their collection. This card has Victory Strike just like Apex of Power, 
when it deals one damage you automatically win so it's a auto winning card and on top of that if you get it PSA graded or you just get a 10 in any sort of grading system it tends to go up in price really really high so just hold your boxes I recommend to get the newest box that you could get your hands on and keep it sealed and then obviously open the ones that you don't care about for fun competitive play like I said we're not all about the money guys we're just trying to help you guys out and make you guys some money in the future if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to hit that like subscribe and share this video to any of your friends that are on the fence when it comes to getting involved in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. So we're going to wrap up the video there. And like we always say, y'all stay super. We stay super. Super players at night. He want to be a super player for life. He love to say that I'm going to be his wife. We stay super from head to toe. Pull up to the scene. We make it.